Okay, so I just wanted to give an update on the Michelin tires that we've been kind of covering. And oh, let me get out of the dang sunlight. I mean, I'm getting it over pretty far. I'm pretty comfortable with this tire. Um, but I mean, these roads aren't freaking perfect concrete roads either, you know? But, we do have the rear, and we do have the front. But I mean, you guys can kind of see how far over I'm getting on these. I'm not going super hard yet, but so far, they are amazing. Like, the flick back and forth, perfect, dude, like, it's, it's awesome. And I ran the powers last time, and these are the road sixes, if you guys have been following along. Um, what did I have before? I'd like the power fours or on this bike before I went to the road sixes. But anyways, so, and then the CBR 600 RR has the power fives on it. So, um, and this is a 1290 Super Duke. It's a roughly 400 pound bike um, with I think that was with the feel in it when I weighed it, I'm not sure. It had to have had some sort of feel in it, I just don't remember how full the tank was right, if I had three gallons of feel in it or not. But, um, these tires are great. Um, no complaints. I am currently on highway, old Highway 30 in Oregon, and that runs... That's this road right here, which used to be this road right here, but um, it runs along Multnomah Falls in the Columbia Gorge, it's dividing Oregon and Washington. Um, so it is a pretty tight, windy road. Um, there is a lot of 15 mile an hour curbs, or corners, um, a lot of steep drop offs and everything and the confidence is there. Um, I have rode those in the summer now. I've put about 3,000 miles total on these tires and that's why I wanted to do this quick little update on them. I've kind of got to experience all weather types fully now with some serious miles. Well, not serious, serious, but I know my powers would have been about time to change at this point. Um, but, I've done, what is it, There's, I get roughly 270 miles to a tank of gas, and I've went through about three tanks of gas in the gorge now, um, and these tires are just phenomenal, uh, if you know anything about the gorge, it's not like this completely, but there's always a little bit of dust and stuff on there, but the confidence is there, it, they're, they're wonderful. Um, hasn't gotten hotter than 90 degrees yet though here in Oregon this summer but I've been laying this thing over on its side and taking these corners you know 50 miles an hour or so and the tires just grip haven't felt any loss of traction I haven't felt any sliding um, and I haven't even got fully to the edge right like I still have about an inch roughly to go before I hit the rib and I used to hit the rib all the time on the powers and that would give me some trippy feelings when you ride right here on this super flat spot it'll it'll feel like you got a flat tire when you hit that just as a heads up um, the back super awesome the front just as amazing um, I've the gorge, it, you start out at river level 
and you immediately climb up, right? So all your traction's on your rear tires coming up the hill. And then from the feminist lookout point, I think that's what it's called, the women's club lookout point or something like that. Anyways, it's a beautiful area, amazing spot. If you ever get the chance, run Highway 30. You won't regret it. But from there, all, all the way back down to the river is all downhill, and that front tire grips and holds. And the cool thing about these tires is there's not a lot of warming up with them, like, because they're an all-weather type of tire, they tend to grab traction and hold on to traction like as soon as you get on the bike. So I can confidently jump on this thing and just go rip without having to do a lot of warming up compared to like the Power Series per se that I have to do, which is a huge plus for me because anytime I'm jumping on this bike, I'm always in a hurry you know, wife and kids and stuff, and there's not a lot of time to just kind of put around town or do some stopping and stuff and trying to get a bunch of heat in the tires. I just jump on the freeway, take off, get on the road, you know, so it, it's really nice, especially with the power that this thing has. If you have an unsticky tire when you're getting on it, you're going to break traction, traction control is going to kick in. And that was a big problem I had with the last set of tires that I had was uh, I'd hit a little bit of, like, I'd hit, like, a little bit of this, and it would just, traction control would instantly kick in, and I'd almost lay the bike over because of traction control issues. Like, because it wants to cut power, right? And then it immediately tries to stand you back up. I personally would rather just goose it and drift out of it, but... That's just my personal preference. But the tires are grade A. I mean, I've been riding. Yeah, dude, like the heat that's in these tires right now are amazing. They're probably about 95 degrees or so, roughly. Um, but they, they, they warm up. They're sticky pretty quick, but they're not like they're not so sticky like a track tire is, so they're going to last a lot longer. But they're sticky enough to hold you to the road, you know, um, in the summertime. Wintertime, I have been through some scary rainstorms with these tires. And I was cautious. I wasn't trying to rip and get ahead of people and do stupid shit with them or nothing. But... I didn't hydroplane once with these tires and buckets were coming down like scary raindrops about the size of a golf ball were hitting me not joking at all luckily that rainstorm I hit was only maybe seven miles worth of rain that I ran into I did slow it down to about 50 miles an hour roughly 45 50 somewhere around in there and the bike Fine. There were some curves. It was a highway um, in Portland. God, what was that highway? It's uh, I-84 is what I hit. Just as you pass uh, the split for 205. And so there's a couple like swooping corners in there. That's right where I hit the rainstorm. The road was starting to flood. Didn't hydroplane at all. Took the corners just fine. Didn't feel squirrely or weird. Nothing felt wrong with the bike. Um, so I know now if I ever get some crazy rainstorm while I'm out riding, I'm good to go that these tires will handle it. So if you're somebody looking to possibly travel and do some long distance riding and stuff like that, I would look into these tires and consider them because they're going to treat you pretty good all the way around, whether you're going to be up in the canyons like I am today carving them out, or if you're traveling across the country, you know, People are getting quite a few miles out of these tires, and they're going to handle the sun, they're going to handle the rain, and most importantly, they do really well in that intermediate weather where a lot of us are at, you know, in the zone three areas, where, um, you know, like the Pacific Northwest, 
perfect tire. I'd recommend them to anybody in the Pacific Northwest to get a hold of these things. The siphing and everything is just awesome. How they're wearing, I couldn't ask for a better tire on this bike. I will be sad when they discontinue these unless I find something better out there. Um, but I think this will be kind of the conclusion to my tire series on these because I don't know what more I can do or say about them. Um, they do hook up awesome. I still can pull wheelies just fine. They're not that hard. They still are nice and soft. Um, I can still haul ass. I can still take corners fast. So, if you guys have any more questions about the uh, Michelin Road 6s, hit me up in the comments and let me know. Ask away.